Yo, what is up squad? It's your girl Six Shot. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today for another episode of my Minecraft journey. Today is episode 13. I don't really have anything planned, however... Yes, however, <laughs> I have an idea. So I think today we are going to continue working on the geode that we were working on last episode. So before we can do that, I will be stuck here farming some trees. I need wood. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use oak or dark oak. So I'm farming a little bit of both so I can bring both and see which one I like better. Give me some time. Give me a moment. I'm going to get uh, some oak logs and dark oak logs gathered up and I will meet you at the geode. All right, I finally made it to the geode and I really wanted to share my idea with all of you. Um, I want to create some bridges and pathways to be able to access all of the budding amethyst blocks so that I can harvest all the clusters to get my amethyst shards. And I have an idea in my head on how I want it to look and I'm not sure how it's gonna translate to the game. So, <laughs> um, we have three ways to get to this area. One, we made in last episode, it's right there behind me, the ladder that goes straight up to where we spawn. The other way is this way right here. And this hallway leads to the way out. Um, and that will lead us out by the origin. But if we come in, so if we come in from the origin and we come down here, we can go that way, which is where we just came from, or we can go up and to the left and come up over here on the top. So what I'm thinking is hopefully, I don't want to block any sides from growing. So I think that's like one above. Yeah. So I think one platform or one walkway is going to go this way. Straight up. Cross, I think it's not going to stop that one from growing. And so that, whoops, that one will be right across this way. Cool. Just like that. And I think, ooh, can I get up there? Ooh, parkour. <laughs> I'm really not good at parkour. Uh, so I think from up here, we can reach all of these. We can reach these because they're close. Can we reach? I fell. That sucks because the only way to get up there is going through the hallway. I fell even more. I'll be right back. How far out can we reach? Not that one, but we can reach all of these. Okay, so we can reach these top ones pretty easily. So we can have one walkway this way. And then I think I will try to see about building like a stairway going down around the side. I think that would be a good idea. That way, to get to this one, you don't have to go all the way around through this hallway. Because right now, that's the only way to get to this pathway. That's what I'm thinking. And then, so we can't reach all of these. So maybe we can do another walkway right here. So if we come up the come down from the ladder, I want to have a few points that we can walk off of. So one would probably be right here. Whoops, not there, right here. Right here and then it'll come up this way. No, that's not right. This way. Cuz then I'll be able to get yeah oh 
not all of them. Okay, well, I thought I thought that through, but I did not. But it's okay. So then we come up this way. Is that right in between? I hope it is, because then we can come this way, build some stairs to come upwards. And then we'll have access to all of these. And I think maybe this height, if not this height, one more higher. But we got good access from right here if we come straight across. And I lied. It's going to be one more higher because I don't want to block that crystal or that cluster from being able to grow. Okay, so now we have a way over here, and then this area right here can be stairs. So I just have to shape this room better, but I just want to make sure I have a good amount of walkways that will... Ow, I fell. Good amount of walkways that will help us reach all of these. So if we come up this way if we come from this way we can reach all of these um blocks so that's good and we can reach these and then i'll probably make a walkway coming through this way and that way we can get all the bottoms and then maybe just hmm, let me see here just for aesthetics and we can use this as well but i think it would look cool to have one coming right across this way maybe let's see how that looks from above yeah that'll look cool i kind of want to give it that chaotic like you don't know what's going on when you first look at it look and just have pathways and stairs and everything winding around makes it almost look like a maze i think that's gonna look super cool so this is gonna be i think i mean it's subject to change of course depending on how the building goes but i think this is how we're gonna have some bridges and all of that and i really want to have a go at suspension or suspended um pathways or bridges i guess because it would be hanging from i want it to look like it's hanging from the top at least this one i don't know about all of them but at least the one right up here so let me see what i can get going this is what i want to use so i have a couple block palettes here um either dark oak logs with some campfires and some chains. Uh, if I use dark oak logs, I'm gonna use some spruce stairs and spruce trap doors. If I don't go with dark oak logs, my other option that I'm considering is oak logs. I think that will look good as well with the campfires and the chains. And then I will use oak stairs and oak trap doors so let me get a sample a little section built for the dark oak palette and then i'll get a section built with the oak and then we can give it a look and see how we like it and then i will choose from there i'll be right back
let's see it from here from the underneath because we will have to look up at this thing and see which one we like better i like that the oak matches the wood color for the campfire as well but i don't know if i like the oak trap doors here oh whoops or not yeah, it looks kind of cool because you can kind of see the underside of the campfire. But then the spruce trap door just makes it look so clean. Mm, let's go get a top or go to go up top. Oh my gosh, English. And let's see what we think about that. See, I just like the way the oak matches the. It's like a closer shade of brown thought maybe the darker wood types would look nice together and they do look pretty decent i do like it but i'm really leaning towards the oak for some reason i really i might i probably just like it more i don't know i'm gonna have to stare at this for a little while and think about it i wonder i have spruce as well like should we settle on not settle oh i have spruce in my inventory it's not really settling but would spruce look better let's give that a look i like it oh man decisions so i like the spruce logs better than i i do the dark oak but now I'm torn on if I should use all spruce or if I should use all oak. I think right now oak is my favorite. And like my only concern is that the wood colors are too similar. So I don't know if it takes away if if the oak logs take away from the campfire. Like does it all blend together? I don't know. But I really like the way this looks. And I wanted to do the chains all the way down, but that's not going to work out. I thought the chains would look pretty cool, like dangling down. But maybe I'll dangle, I'll hang some chains below the stairs, and then I can hang some lanterns there to get rid of these torches that are just all over the place. Maybe I'll try that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this part here to match that. And I'm going to finish this walkway and then we'll give it a another look and see if it if it is what I really want it to be. <laughs> I don't know if that really makes sense. I just I have a vision in my head and I'm having a very hard time like bringing it to life right now. I'm struggling. I'm on the struggle bus. But let me just take down the spruce and then we'll see what it looks like with it completed with all oak. Oh my gosh. Too many words. <laughs> okay, from down here, it looks pretty cool. Only thing is, I can't place a stair there because there's that crystal grow. Oops, I accidentally jumped. There's a crystal growing right underneath it. But other than that, I think it looks pretty cool. See, it depends on how I can contour this top part because I really wanted to drop it down, but this one is like right in the way. I wanted to bring it down and then start circling it around to for it to be able to connect somehow with this pathway. Ooh, boy, I'm really struggling on this one. I don't know if I'm going to finish because I keep. I don't know. I'm just doubting myself right now, but it looks really it does look really cool. I. I hope it'll look nice in the end. So let me work on this one right here, getting this one to come across the uh, staring down is going to be different because campfires may not look as nice i'll try it if not i have i'm probably just going to use like oak stairs or something 
but we will definitely try it for sure. So I'm just going to work on this one's next. Uh, all it is is it's just trap doors. So I'm just removing a slime and placing a trap door just like this. And that was the last trap door. So I will teach you guys the next part. Campfires right on top of those. I can't get on top. There we go. And then you just right click it with your shovel to get it to stop burning. And then so the last campfire would be there. So I'll probably have the oak logs on the side here. And then I'm spacing them out every three. So I'm just counting from this side. One, two, three. And it would go here. And then one, two, three. And it would go here. So now take your oak logs and yeah, plop them there. That bottom one's a temporary block. So you can get the log to go in the direction you want it to and then plop your chains all the way up to the top and let me see can i get down here okay sweet and now we're going to do our stair here uh oh i don't think i can do the other side stair okay let me see if i can get up there to do it Boom, just like that. And just like that, you got one little section done. Yay. <laughs> oh, goodness. It looks really cool, but I think I am going to have to work out lighting so i will probably take change this is what i'm thinking this is what i'm thinking take some chains down of not like that that's not down uh did i bring lanterns oh man i don't think i brought lanterns well hang a lantern on that <laughs> that's what i'm thinking man i did not come prepared um, but yeah, I want to see how it looks with a lantern on top. I just didn't bring any lanterns because I'm not prepared. So I'm going to take a torch because it's kind of dark right here and just place a torch down for now. I have to go get a little bit more resources so I can finish this. I need my crafting bench, which I left up there. So I'm going to go grab my things from that hallway and craft up more things and then i will be back when i have made a little bit more progress huh it has been some time i have been trying to work on this for i don't know at least an hour i think because i'm trying to get it right the chains they're just not going to line up all the time which is fine i expected that but there's a lot of chains that especially down here because that's where a lot of the blocks are that i can't suspend or extend <laughs> wrong word extend up and so i kind of just made them dangle down here because why not and now i've been trying to work on how i want this room this room oh my gosh english to flow and so far, I got this bridge, which is coming out this way. This is fine, because this gets a good chunk of the clusters. Or I'm able to reach a good chunk of the clusters. Um, that one up there might not be used as much, but I really like the way it looks. That's why I really wanted that one up there. And if I do want to use it, I made sure that there's a walkway to get there, which is perfectly fine. And I personally don't like how steep the decline or the incline is when using stairs. So I like to use slabs. Um, I tried it with stairs and it fit better. I wouldn't have to have dug out so much. But like, I don't know, it's just so steep and then you miss some stairs. So you end up like falling. I don't know. It's, it's, stairs are weird sometimes. 
But anyway, so I'm using slabs and I like it a lot. I'm just getting an outline here before and to figure out where I want my walkways to be before I start digging the walls up and stuff. I don't know. That could be like a really wrong, the wrong way to do it. But I'm trying to keep this natural like shape and this like, you know, it kind of looks kind of spherical in some spots and I'm trying to keep that room design, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, so I got the slabs coming down here and I'm thinking about having them come down to this corner and then it's going to stay on this level or maybe one block below this. I'm not sure. I, I forget what I what I was thinking. It might be this one, maybe, possibly. <laughs> now I'm confusing myself. Um, and then it's just gonna go right around the room on that same floor all the way around. And I think that I should have enough room to go straight around the sides. Oh my God, I'm stuck now. Ah, no, oh, no, okay. And then straight around and come around this way and it might be a few blocks off, so I might have to maybe bring it down one, but I might not. I might have this right. And if I do, it'll all work out perfect. And I just want a walkway to go right around this room. So I'm going to continue it this way. And I was digging out this because I couldn't go with the form of the room because I did the redstone over here, which is totally fine. Speaking of redstone, it went up one or one, two, two more steps, it's two more stages. So one more stage and then it's going to be harvested for the very first time when I've been working in here probably for like three hours total. I've been in here trying to figure out. Maybe four hours, I don't know. But I'm trying to figure out the layout I wanted and then how I wanted it to be, the design I wanted, all that stuff. I might not have recorded four hours of footage, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I've been in here for a really long time and it hasn't harvested a single time yet. Although I have needed to harvest some clusters because they were getting in my way and... I was in, unable to walk my little pathways or my bridges because it just gets in the way. I was trying to pick spots that were as inobtrusive to the clusters growing as possible, but because of how many there are, of course, it's gosh darn near impossible to not get in the way like these right here like if i moved it one more over this way i would have been in the way of that cluster it's just uh, you know i chose the ones i tried to choose the best best path possible without interfering too much with the growth of the clusters or anything like that so Let's look. I still have to build out some more um, pillars and things still. But I really love the way it looks from like down here. If you could get a good angle. Like look at that. The bridge is going across. And then there's that top bridge over there. And this bridge coming from the underneath. I really, really think it's going to look really cool when it's done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish within this video however i will try my very best but for now what i'm going to be doing is continuing the path that i have going down this way i just wanted to give you guys an update to let you guys know what i was working on and i want this path to come down like i said and probably to this block right here to this level and then it's going to circle all the way around. That way it has access to that. This one platform will have access to a lot of the clusters right on this side. And then I have this little walkway over here that'll get this bunch. And then I can always come over here. The only downside is 
my redstone. I could harvest these, but I have to make sure I be careful of anything that falls inside the hoppers. I have to make sure I check and I take it out. Um, but then, yeah, if I come all the way around, I'll probably end up on this level or maybe this level. Either either one, I should be able to get all of the amethyst from these blocks over here when I come around this way. And I think when I'm done with the walkway, I will better be, I will, oh my God, I'm thinking too hard. My brain hurts. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am legitimately thinking so hard that I can't even talk right now. I'm hoping that once I get the walkway going completely around this room, I'll be able to see where I can take some walls away or even add some cobble and add some cobble variants like stairs and slabs and things to make this room look decently nice i'm hoping and i really want i'm thinking i'm debating i might save this for off camera though but i'm debating going to get more stone from my base and making sure it's all cobblestone stone brick or stone so i can get rid of all the granite and the diorite maybe i have to see how the room looks once i'm done with the pathway though because i think i'm getting ahead of myself and i should just work one step at a time and take it from there so i'm gonna continue my path once i'm done we'll rejoin together or join up together whatever reconnect connect whatever you want to call it and figure out what my next steps are from there okay okay cool <laughs> my brain hurts <laughs> guys i missed it i wasn't recording it literally just went off it just harvested two shards the first two shards and let me just make sure that the gravel block is in there which it is so this is working perfect it just takes an absolute eternity Oh my god, I can't believe I was right about to start recording too because look, I just created a maze, it seems like. <laughs> but I like the intertwining of the purple from the budding amethyst and then here I come messing this whole place up <laughs> and throwing wood all over the place. But look, you can reach so much more with this extra platform. At first, I wasn't really thinking about making a platform. I only thought about connecting um, this hanging bridge to this ladder somehow. But then I was thinking, well, that means I have to use this ladder. And what if I move it? Or what if I want to do something else? Uh, so then that's why I started to think of a plan. I don't know. I'm probably on plan X by now, like maybe Z already. I don't even know. I've changed my mind so many times, but we are definitely going to change up this room. I still have to come through and change the granite. I think that I am going to change it and get rid of all the diorite and the granite and just keep it to gray toned blocks um i'm not done yet i still want to add in pillars but i am starting to get low on oak logs so i'm gonna go i'm going to have to stop soon and finish the project in another day um but yeah i really i love this i actually do i wish <laughs> i wish i could put the chains all the way up um, I also don't have lanterns on me. If I did, I would add some hanging chains at the bottom of under at the underneath of the stairs so that I can throw some lanterns in here. Um, a lot of work still needs to be done. This is like part one. <laughs> I'm sure the next uh, maybe next episode, I might do something different unless I'm still like still. I don't know. Got my mindset on this because I was super excited with the geode and clearing it out that I wanted to do the bridges right away. Um, but I will try my very, very best to get what I can done in this episode. And then if I can't finish 
which actually I shouldn't say if I can't finish because I know I can't finish. I don't have enough oak wood to finish, but I am going to try my absolute best. I'm working right now on building a stairway down because um, I think it'll be easier than hopping up up and down all the time because there, I'm going to need to be down here to harvest. I have to sneeze. Hold on one second. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I have to be down here anyways to be able to harvest all of the clusters that grow on the underneath side of the budding blocks. And all the... I'm going to have to come down here to pick up all the shards that fall down anyways that I'm not able to catch when I harvest it. So... I do have a lot of work to do. I have to clear out, like, I, I, my, I j literally just explained it. I don't know why I'm going to repeat myself. doesn't matter. I have a lot of work to do is what I'm, ah, oh, it's what I'm getting at. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. I'm going to get to working on this a little bit more. I want to at least be able to finish my um, stairway down so that I have full access to as many of the uh, clusters as possible and access easier access to get down there and get back up here uh, when I have to pick up any shards that do fall. So hopefully I can at least finish that much. I get stuck right here, but I guess I'm going to be harvesting anyways, so I can harvest this when I come down. Ah, I don't have any more slabs. I should have made some more slabs while I was up there. Oh, there we go. Just got to crouch to get around. Cool. Enderman! <gasps> <laughs> I've never seen an Enderman climb a ladder before. I couldn't press record fast enough. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right squad i used up all the oak that i had on hand i it's all done i did finish the slab stairway down to the bottom area um but hey andy so looking at it like i don't i don't really like it like when you look down from up here, the, the slabs, they just, they drown out the bridges because there's no separation, you know? Uh, so what I think a better option may be is, um, I think what a better option may be is to find a good transition point within the staircase and... Um, what I think the best, what I think another option would be is to find a good transition point within the staircase that I can continue on using stone slabs. Uh, that way, if I can get up here without getting stuck on all these clusters, <laughs> that way, when you're up top over here, all the bridges they're no 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 hold on all right sorry i got uh interrupted i i don't know he's been down here for so long i know i've looked at him many times but only now he got angry i guess he didn't want the attention but that's fine anyways what i was saying is that way if there's stone slabs or a stair a stone stairway down below, if we're looking down from up top, the 
there will definitely be separation, you know, and you'll be able to see that there's a bridge coming across this way instead of it getting drowned out by um, the wooden staircase down there that we currently have. Um, so yeah, definitely gotta work on that. I have a lot of work to do in between episodes. I have to gather up the stone I need, figure out um, the layout I want as far as that goes with the stone stairs down below. I have to farm lots of oak because I need more and I will also get rid of that wooden or the oak wood staircase that I made down there. Whew. I have a lot of homework to do, it seems like. Great. I've always, always loved homework so much. Anyways, squad, that's going to be it as far as what we can do in today's episode. We have a lot of work ahead of us in next episode. Hopefully we can get this area all fixed up. I will try my best to get it finished next episode. How about that? That's that's all I can really promise you guys. I'll try my best. If not, then there'll be another episode working on this area. And yay! <laughs> I've been underground for so long, I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys had a whole lot of fun. I know I did. I definitely, definitely enjoyed all the company today. Other than that, guys, it's been your girl, Six Shot. I hope you have an excellent rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces! Who's walking down there or somewhere? Something. Oh, was that me? <laughs> I was hitting the clusters with my, with my breath. Okay, bye.